What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we are back with a brand new edition of a My Damn Toys video. Yeah, I mean, you can see it here, man. And you guys can see that the classic setup is back. And I apologize if there's some echoing. I do apologize for that because I'm still setting up the room and whatnot. And honestly, I'm super behind on that because my schedule is so damn rampant right now. But nonetheless, man, today we're diving into the worst WWE Elite figures of the year so far. And we do have an ultimate on here, I do believe. And I couldn't find that ultimate. I dug in every single freaking box, couldn't find it. So we're just going to have to get the hell over it anyways, man. Let's dive into the worst WWE Elite figures of 2023 so far. You know, we haven't done a video where we sat down and we kind of broke some things down in a while and wanted to get into it, man. But you guys will notice the floor in this classic setup is black compared to the silver because I have not quite gotten those uh, those tables that I did have, which I did get from like a JC Penny or something like that. That like the whole store was shutting down and they were getting rid of everything, and so I got two snazzy JC Penny tables from back in the day, and they're damn nice, and I appreciate them. They're better than this shish. This is like a twenty dollar table from Walmart, but you know what, Brad? I've had these tables ever since I moved into my old house, and it's kind of wild. Old reliable comes back around right now, man. But let's shut the hell up and dive into it, man. Here is the worst WWE Elite figures of 2023 so far and of course we are almost at like eight months into the end of the year now so no let's let's shut the hell up man let's start things off with a target exclusive legends figure and for me man i went with the legends hulk hogan figure now you're probably wondering brad that figure's not that bad it's not that horrible but it really pisses me off because there's a lot of things about the figure that i just don't like and the more i talk don't fall over background. If this background falls over, I'm going to have to kick my own A. Nonetheless, this figure really pissed me off. I think what the biggest thing for this figure is, the belt mold pisses me off, and it's still the same, like, lighter skin tone. It's the skinny ripped torso that everybody hated on the first go-around with the Hall of Fame Target exclusive Hulk Hogan that we got back in the day. And I don't know, man. This figure could just be so much better. Imagine it with the right things and the right angles. It could be so much better. This figure just kind of bothers me. It's not the worst figure of all time, but damn, it pisses me off. Next up, we have a figure that is most recent. No, it's not most recent, but it's one of the more recent figures. It is the Elite 102 Mick Foley. Now, I know a lot of people really enjoy this figure, and I like the head sculpt. I like the flannel on it. It really is nice, but I hate the painted on shirt and I hate these damn sweatpant legs and these John Cena shoes, man. This figure could be so much better. I do like the accessories. I like the gavel hand, things of that nature, but this figure right here just bums me the hell out. It looks very awkward, too, when you have this, like, painted on torso. It just looks so weird. He wasn't wearing an, a freaking Under Armour shirt with Commissioner on it, you know what I mean? So I think double cloth or a t-shirt mold or something would have been better than what we got here. So Commissioner Foley from Elite 102 is my next figure on my list. Now this one might uh, this one might piss some people off, but just hear me out, all right, Brad. We have the defining moments, mankind. A lot of people enjoy this figure. I like this figure in some other ways, but some ways I don't like it. He still looks so damn jacked, man. Look at those arms, man. The arms are way too damn big. I don't like how they have like the sculpted on sleeves here. I just think this figure could be much better. I'm still trying to figure out what formula I want to try and make for myself here. I know we're getting an ultimate edition. That figure is going to actually have cloth goods, I imagine. And I imagine that figure is probably going to be way better than this. I do like the tacks in the back. I love the head sculpt with the tooth up the nose and the bloody mouth and everything like that. And this figure has a lot of great things about it, but I just, I, I don't like it. I don't like the Jaxy look of it. And just look how much bigger he is, man. Look how damn massive he is. Very Jaxy. Very get the hell out of here. Next up, Ruthless Aggression Elite Undertaker. Very bare bones right here, man. This was one of the crappiest repaints. I really wish they'd go back to the drawing board on Undertaker figures. If you guys ever see like a shirtless Undertaker, it looks so much better. Like the girth of the body. We saw it with the ringside exclusive. I just hate this skinny torso for Undertaker. It's also lacking the Sarah tattoo, which pisses me off. I know it's it's kind of, it's out of respect and stuff like that, but I don't like that we're missing it. And then when you have the skinny torso with these jacked arms, and then you have this saturated blue jeans color that doesn't look right, it has some good things about it, but it's definitely lackluster for sure. I just, I'm not a fan of the figure. Uh, I think it could be fixed up better, and I love this version and era of Undertaker, but figure could be definitely way better. Next up, we have Elite Series 100 Rock, and you're probably like, how the hell is this on here, man? This head sculpt's abysmal. Around this time that this is supposed to represent, Rock was not making this face, man. I mean, look at this guy right here. Inaccuracies all over it. I will say the Brahma Bull title was fantastic. 
I'm pretty sure this these trunks he didn't wear till like 2000 or 2001, and I think this head sculpt was ba this head sculpt and this like era of rock was around the late 90s. So it's like a mix and match figure. The jersey and the Brahma Bull Championship are very nice. Don't get me wrong, but just a simple like head sculpt difference and things like that. You could have made this figure over the top because I actually like this body mold and everything like that. But it's just some of those things that really bother me about the figure. So I put the rock here, and he's not as fluent like feeling in hand. Like look at him about to fall over. I don't know. He's very stiff like as well. He's not as good as like previous rocks we've seen on this body. So I went with the rock there, Elite 100. Next up, we have another Legends figure, Target exclusive. I went with Dingo Warrior, man. I'm just, yeah, I, I just don't really care for the figure. I know that it has its own place in time, but this man is shelf warming everywhere. And that doesn't necessarily mean that a figure is bad just because it shelf warms. But this is one of my least favorite releases of the year. I think it's cool that we got this version. I think it's cool that you throw that head sculpt in there with the figure. I like the boot sculpt and stuff. But I was trying to find some of the my, my least favorite figures of the year. And so this is what I've got so far. And this figure is really not that bad. I kind of felt bad putting that on there. And I almost just included it as like an honorable mention. And I guess you still could include it as an honorable mention. But I just, uh, it, it's definitely one of my least favorite. Look how small he is too, man. I I don't know. I just, I wasn't the biggest fan of that warrior there. Next up, we have everybody's favorite. We have Elite Series 104 Solo Sokoa, man. I mean, this guy had to be on here, right? I mean, it, this guy had to be on here. The skinny, super skinny legs, the skinny arms, the skinny torso. He had to be on here, man. I know we're getting Elite 107 Solo, but this is the Elite 104, and he'll forever be known as the Solo that was inaccurate, and he had to be on here, man. You couldn't not have him on there. I do like certain things about the figure. He also didn't come with a Samoan spike hand. There was just a lot of things to not like about the figure, even though he does have some redeeming qualities. It's a good head sculpt. It's a cool attire. The shirt's bad, A, eh? but... Yeah, he, he definitely is one of my least favorite. Definitely disappointing, to say the least. And, again, this is my list. This is my list of figures that I found to find the least amount of enjoyment out of. And that's kind of where it comes from, right? I mean, these are my least favorite figures that we've seen so far this year. And I had to include it there, man. Next up, we have the Elite. The Elite. I guess, technically, I mean, it is an Elite. But we have the Greatest Hits Elite Seth Rollins. This figure, I have a custom version of it now. And it's kind of in the works still. But with the middle of the move and everything like that, I couldn't quite get it done just yet. It's very close to being done, though. Nonetheless, this figure was a huge disappointment. Way back when we saw it at WrestleMania Superstore, man, I mean, we drug this figure up and down the street. And I know it's supposed to be just a straight re-release of the cash-in, but everybody knows this figure was buns, man. Head sculpt was buns. Head sculpt wasn't the greatest. It still didn't have chest hair. It's the old formula. It's just a lot left to be desired with that guy. I mean, they didn't even fix the Money in the Bank briefcase. And I understand they're just doing a re-release, but damn, man. Pick a different figure then. Next up, we have another kind of honorable mention because I like this figure in some ways, but damn, it could have been so much better. It is the Elite 100 John Cena. The Elite 100 John Cena, it's, it's again, it's another disappointment of mine. I think the head sculpt really resembles like a 2011, 2012 Cena. This is not an 05 Cena in the head sculpt. It's just not, man. Just take it from me, okay? Just listen to me, John Cena connoisseur. This figure could be so much better. They also have, like, the old formula. I mean, they didn't give him cloth goods, man. How much better could this figure have been? They just throw the baseball jersey in there. Throw, throw some sort of cloth goods in here, and it would have been so much better, but... The head sculpt not resembling 05 Cena, the very, very old dated mold they used for Elite 100, it was just very, very disappointing. It could be so much better, and I had to put Cena on my list, man. Again, this is my list. It's not the right list. It's just my list. Next up, Elite Series 100, Becky Lynch, man. This figure right here is not egregious. I think that the head sculpt was really what took me out of it, and I like the gear, but we're still going with these basic feet. I can't stand the basic feet on the women's figures. I even asked Bill and Steve about it. I wanted to know if they were going to fix that. It seems that they are not going to fix that moving forward, at least not at this juncture, but I'm not a fan of this figure. I like from the neck down, and with the fix-up, it looks a lot better, but the basic feet, like, they don't even stand flat most of the time. There's no ankle rocker, and it really bothers me, but I do like the gear and stuff. That was going to be another one of my honorable mention figures, but it was a, it was a bleh release. I mean, all of Elite 100 is kind of an honorable mention because I was so disappointed in the wave, but some of those figures in that set were pretty damn good. Next up, we have 
have Elite Series 102 Sami Zayn. This figure is not egregious, and I love the mousetrap, but damn, dude, this head sculpt is just so wacky, and it's okay. It's just, I was just not a fan of the figure. I also don't like that they have him this taller boot mold. I had a problem with it back in Elite, what, 91 or something like that. I didn't even like the boot mold then, how they, like, extended it. They do this sometimes where they, like, take existing boots, and then they extend them, even though they don't fit. Like, Sami Zayn's boots are standard boots, but they have him in these, like, longer boots at, compared to, like, his older Elites, and it just bothers me. I don't know. It's not an egregious figure, but I don't know. A head swap, I, I, I just am not a big fan of that head sculpt. Just big goofy. I know what they were going for, but I, I it's not one of my favorite figures of the year. Next up, we have another figure from Elite 102, and it is kind of different because I fixed it up. It is the Rhea Ripley from Elite Series 102. I like this fix-up a lot. I even dug out the head sculpt to make it sit lower. This is like a Rhea Ripley and Raquel Rodriguez sort of fix-up, and I actually like this a lot, actually. Like, I think it's badass. I still have to get the tattoos ordered. Every time I go to order the tattoos, curb stomp store is closed, so hopefully I can get that done. I'm going to do that this week if it's actually open. I think it is open, but I like this figure a lot more now that I fixed it up. And again, this is a compare. Like, I got rid of that figure pretty much because I broke it down into so many parts. It's basically just a like a fodder body now, but this figure looks much better, and I know a lot of people say it's got a giraffe neck, but I feel like her first Elite, that Elite 102 figure, was so weird looking. It was so tiny, and I've heard that Rhea Ripley's actually tinier in person, but I've seen her in person, she looked jacked as hell, so I don't... Maybe my standard for jacked females is just lower for some reason. I, I don't know. It, it, it could be wrong, but the fact of the matter, we need a better Rhea Ripley. I want to see an Ultimate Edition Rhea Ripley with all the tattoos exposed, with her jacked arms, world title. I mean, plenty of stuff they could do there. Hopefully, we get that soon, but Rhea Ripley Elite 102, not this specific figure. You guys know what I'm talking about. That ugly purple gear, that is the one that's on my list. But the final figure for me personally, a figure that disappointed the hell out of me, man, is going to be the Elite, then now forever together, four-pack Target exclusive Stone Cold Steve Austin. This figure disappointed the shish out of me, son. The shish out of me. I'm talking about beat the piss out of me. I love Stone Cold. I love this figure in theory, and the first time we ever saw it, I was losing my mind. I was like, damn, bro, that looks immaculate. Can't wait to get that. A new Jorts Austin. The legs are loose. He's too short. And he just feels awful in hand. And the head sculpt just doesn't look good to me now. Originally, I thought it looked good. But now, I just... I, and I love Austin. He's one of my favorites of all time. But these legs just... I just hate it. Hate it. And I love Austin. And I should love this figure. And I love the moment and everything. Had a blast when he returned. But this figure just sucks, man. It doesn't suck. But it, it definitely disappoints the hell out of me. Big disappointment to your mother and I. Austin, get the hell out. Well, that's pretty much my list, man. That is my entire list of the worst WWE elites of the year so far. And I mean, we have so many figures here that you could like make an argument for, but these are like the bottom tier, man. These are the figures. And also an honorable mention that I couldn't find the figure. If you guys are wondering what figure I could not find, it is the Legends Eddie Guerrero Ultimate Edition. Had to be on there, man. Honorable mention for sure. They made him way too damn big. You guys know the drill. They made him way too freaking big. It was just ridiculous how, how big they made him. So he would definitely be on my list but I couldn't find the figure. I dug in all my boxes, and now I'm worried that I can't find my Rey Mysterio. My Rey Mysterios and my Eddie Guerreros were stored together, so now we gotta find those, and uh, it's it's uh, making me upset that I can't find them, but we will have to see about that, man. But that is going to wrap up my worst WWE Elites of 2023 thus far. I would love to know if you guys agree with me down in the comment section, or you have your own list down below. Hopefully the echoing wasn't too, too bad here, because when I'm talking, it sounds like I'm in a damn echo chamber or something like that, so hopefully that won't be the case when I go back and edit it. Nonetheless, man, a huge Shout out to our patrons of the MDT YouTube channel. I appreciate everybody that's joined on in the past month. I appreciate you guys so very much. When I get moved in and settled, I can get everything under control there, and hopefully we can get these videos rolling out like we did beforehand. But let me know what you think of the setup. You like the black floor? What do you think, man? Once I get everything set up in the... Like, it's because the walls are empty is probably why it's echoing so bad. Because there's a lot of stuff in here. There's just no furniture besides this damn table. And I don't even have my damn chair. I've been on my knees this whole time. So leave a like on the video for this carpet digging into my damn knees knees. My damn knees. But I appreciate all my patron supporters. Appreciate all you guys for watching the video. Leave a like on the video. Leave me your thoughts down below. I'm getting the hell out of here. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Damn Toys. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you later.